So a few weeks ago, I was visiting some family up in Savannah, Georgia, and we were walking around, doing, do, taking pictures, doing the whole tourist thing, and just before we left, we wanted to get some photos, our group photo of everyone that was there. Well, we found ourselves in an area where there really wasn't anybody around to give our camera to to take a picture of us. You know, we've all been in the situation. You're on vacation. You really want to get a group shot of you. Maybe there's just the two of you. Going to end up handing your camera to a total stranger for them to take a picture of you. Now, they may or may not know how to use the camera, depending on the complexity of your camera. Well, I started thinking, you know what? I'll just do this in Photoshop. I'll use the auto-align feature and create a composite of a group shot. So what I did was took a picture of the group, leaving an open space off to the side here because I knew that I was going to be standing there in the next picture. Then I had Mark, this individual right here, take the next picture with me in the frame and right in the position, roughly in the same position as that I would be in that empty area of this image. You can see the positioning and the way people are standing isn't consistent, which is okay because all we're going to be doing is compositing me into this shot. So. With these two images, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this image into the other image. They were shot in the same size and same dimensions, so it should fall right on top of it. But I'm going to hold down the shift key just to make sure it falls right dead center. So drag and drop into this image. So there we have that. Okay. So I'm going to minimize this one. I don't need it right now. So here we have the image. If I turn this on and off, you can see they don't really line up. It's not quite there. So. I'm going to go ahead and hold down the shift key and hold and select, click on the uh, background layer and select both layers. Then I'm going to go into the edit menu down here to auto align layers. And make sure we set the auto feature and then click OK. It will go ahead and assess both of those images and align them up as best it can, depending on the placement of the object. So if I turn this on and off, it tends to line up pretty good. So now I'm going to apply a layer mask to this top image. But I want it to hide everything initially, so I'm going to hold down the Option key, that would be the Alt key on a PC, and then click on the new layer mask icon. That will hide that image. So now what I'm going to do is go and get my paintbrush tool, get a, get a relatively good sized brush, not too hard edge. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and left bracket that to make that edge a little bit softer. And make sure that we are painting with white. White is set as my foreground color because we're going to be revealing parts of this image. Let's make that brush a little bit smaller and just go ahead and go in here and start painting me into the photograph. And you can see, because it was shot right at the very instant after I shot that first image, it, it blends in nicely with the lighting and everything. So I'm going to go over here where I start to blend into her. You can see that she wasn't completely lined up. You can see some edges are going off here, but that's okay. I'll just go over here and paint in her in in a new position from that original photograph. Coming down in here, we'll just bring in that original image there, just like that. So now I blend in seamlessly into this group shot. All I got to do now is just take my crop tool, draw a crop area here, press enter, and boom, there we go. I am seamlessly blended into that group shot. I didn't have to have a stranger take my camera and shoot the picture for me. I did it all right there in Photoshop using the very powerful auto align feature. So I can toggle that on and off. You can see how easy it blends in.